गुड मॉर्निंग नमस्कार जय हिंद लेडीज एंड जेंटमैन बॉयज एंड गर्ल्स इन द सीरीज ऑफ माय टॉक अबाउट डिफेंस फोर्सेस कैरियर बियॉन्ड एक्सेलेंस आई हैव टिल नाउ इन पार्ट वन कवर्ड द इथोस वर्क कल्चर हाई एक्सपेक्टेशन फ्रॉम द सोसाइटी एंड द चैलेंजेस फेस्ड बाय द ऑफिसर्स इन द डिफेंस इन पार्ट टू वी हैड सीन how this career goes beyond excellence and is certainly better than the best in its class in the part 3 i spoke about the methodology of joining defense forces overall methodology and what are entry levels that you can get into the defense forces when you get inspired and today is the concluding session of the series of discussion about defense forces i will discuss about the services selection board a mystery to many of us many all those who have passed do not know that how they passed all those who fail feel how they did not able to get through and every buddy who wants to become a officer who aspires to become a officer in the defense forces has to go through this ssb except the doctors and therefore this ssb is very intriguing to many of us who wish to join defense forces now let me give you my personal example i passed out in the third attempt i didn't know why i failed for the two chances and finally when i passed how did i pass but today after 36 years of experience in army and being in senior positions and after discussing with various examiners gtos interviewing officers and the experts in the field i am today well qualified to guide you through this system i feel amused to find on the youtube you know series of videos in which person says how to crack the ssb he has just passed one ssb examination and he gives you tips on how to go through the interview what all you should be preparing for the interview he doesn't even know what quality did they see to pass him i even don't know till today while he is become a expert after qualifying one ssb there are officers who uh, have very limited experience in this field but by the very fact that they are from the defense background they pose or uh, show themselves as very qualified experts and therefore they have a authority on explaining things about the service selection board it's not so let me tell you the basics about the service selection board and then leave it to you how it functions the service selection board for selecting the defense officers is the best method in the country and let me tell you this practice is also followed globally in most of the countries like in pakistan uk europe similar method in us and others may not have such elaborate system but this is comparable with by far the best in the developed countries available now what happens in ssb if i tell you in the basics preliminary in the stage 1 on the first day when you reach there they carry out a screening test a preliminary screening and those students who are absolutely not meeting the criteria they are screened out and the two tests are held in the screening which i'll cover later and subsequently a full ssb is held for the four days so it's a uh, interview method spanning over a period of five days now uh, during the main test the psychology test the group test the personal interviews which are held and for those who want to become pilot it's pilot aptitude test or today it is called computerized pilot selection system which is held there is a website prepared by army ssb bhopal uh, go military dot in kindly refer to it in great detail for most of the students come to me and ask uh, my uh, ssb interview call has come how should i prepare as i covered in the past uh, series part 3 you pass the upsc examination or you are selected in the merit as per the defense headquarters and you are informed well in advance you get about 1 month to 3 months notice that your ssb will be held during this period so therefore this you have adequate time at hand to prepare for the ssb now how should one be preparing for the ssb there are various things people say just no need to prepare you just be normal and don't do anything while others feel that you have got this time why not carry out good preparation and go with all your capability all your force all your uh, talent and get selected in one go so when they come to me 
I can just share a few tips with you for preparing for the SSP. First and foremost, gain knowledge. We are not looking for people with very, very high IQ. We are not looking for geniuses. The defense forces are looking for people with little above the average, above average IQ, person who is a little above the average in the IQ and who has got good knowledge, uh, knowledge about what is happening around, knowledge about his own place where he is living, knowledge about his school, knowledge about his friends, knowledge about the area to which he belongs to, knowledge about the country, knowledge about the neighboring countries, knowledge about little about the history and culture of our own civilization, a little about the current affairs, what is happening in the world. So kindly use this time to gain knowledge because there is no end to gaining knowledge. You should have a reasonably good knowledge. Secondly, physical fitness. Army, there is a strenuous physical work and therefore though a normal fitness person should at the young age should be able to qualify. However, if you do a, increase your stamina a little, do a little running, get into a good shape, hit the gym for some time, you come out a little more physically fit and gives you a little more confidence in yourself. Carry out a little personality development, be a good citizen, imbibe a little positivity, start thinking logically. If a problem is given to you, how will you overcome that? Break it into various stages, think about it and present your decision making, your thought process into a cohesive, in a coherent manner. Because these are the things which will be asked to you and develop a little competitive spirit. That is certainly which is the hallmark of the defense forces. Now this question is often asked to me, sir, whether I should undergo coaching or not. Boys and girls, today there are large number of coaching institutes who claim that they prepare you well, they guarantee you that you will be able to pass SSB. Some of them even say that uh, we conduct a coaching for 20 days. If you do not pass, we will return half of your money. So the students are lured into a system which they feel that they must be having some setting with the SSB. And therefore, uh, they can go through these people, pay them little extra and they will be able to go through the SSB. Let me assure you that this is totally a myth. There is no setting with any coaching, no coaching can get you through the SSB by dubious methods. They only prepare you well, they know how to prepare you well, they may prepare you well, coach you, but ultimately you are the one who has to go through the SSB, you are the one on the field who has to perform and go through. And secondly, the coaching gives you just a guidance, use that if you want to do a short coaching, gives you a small capsule to guide you, to channelize your thoughts, give you a method of preparation and leave it at that. When you go for the SSB, be original, be a little polished and let me also tell you various tests which are conducted. The SSB or the people at the SSB are trying to paint a picture of you. They are trying to find out that uh, the candidate who has come, they have not even seen your face which they see in the end, uh, what sort of qualities is there. So out of various tests they put like the uh, system you must have seen wherein the uh, photo of a film star or famous personality is uh, broken into various pieces into a jigsaw puzzle into a mosaic and then you fit in those pieces of the jigsaw puzzle and then a picture emerges of the personality and you say oh yes this is Amitabh Bachchan. So something like that, the various tests are these small small chits which tell you a little about that personality. So if you put them correctly, your picture may come out to be of a good person. However, if you don't utilize this, every test gives you either a positive stroke, say a green card or gives you a red stroke towards your personality, say a um, red card or you may not use that personal card to enhance your personality. It may give you a very neutral uh, effect on the people on the examinations and therefore we can say it is a white card. So when these cards are joined up, each and every quality, each and every answer that you gave in the test or each and every test that you perform gives you a stroke either of a card of a green, red or white. You collect maximum of the green cards. And then a picture of yours emerges which may appear predominantly green and therefore you get selected. There should be very few reds and 
if you are there are there will be some whites which will indicate that you have wasted that opportunity to project your personality but white may not contribute towards your not selection but the less number of reds will certainly give you a boost towards presenting you as a better personality and your winning the ssb also let me tell you the ssb selection system is uh, like marketing it's like self marketing uh, the people who are sitting in the ssb the various examiners you are like the vendor who are selling the goods they are like the customers so they are looking for the best product that they can buy and you are coming and showcasing your items similarly when you go for ssb you have to do self marketing you have to give your qualities you have to express yourself you have to express what qualities you have what is your potential what is the talent within you if you don't give out then the examiners will not come to know even you may be very good you may be better than the people who got selected but the people who got selected were probably a little more smarter or a better salesman who could project their qualities well and therefore were able to impress the examiners okay so now we come to the ssb you have been called for the ssb you arrive a day prior to the ssb test that starts uh let me tell you one more aspect of it you are going to get selected for a disciplined force where discipline is the hallmark and the image of a defense officer is always you would have seen immaculate well dressed good disciplined soldier so you are going to join that cadre a elite force and therefore your attitude right from the first day should show that you certainly belong to that category and you have come yourself to get selected so have a good haircut should be proper haircut well groomed if you uh, have a beard kindly shave it you don't want to shave have a well groomed beard if you so desire but you should look neat and clean well groomed we well dressed we are not looking for casual people we are looking for sincere soldiers so right you arrived on the first day uh, first day will be your entry and your document check will be carried out so when you carry your you know, original certificates please make a proper file put them in the correct order because that is the impression that is created when you present your documents and the next day will be the stage 1 on the day 1 stage 1 first is the intelligence test where basic reasoning logic and certain questions based on your aptitude are asked reasoning questions you, you will not uh, you can do some preparation before going either in the coaching or you know at home a large number of books and online tests are available uh, but uh, it is not necessary your basic logic and the application will come out in this these uh, results are uh, checked there and then and then there is a picture perception test in the picture perception you are shown a picture which you form your own story about that picture what you conceive out of that picture what you feel you make a story out of that picture that story should reflect certain positivism certain positivity in your thought process and then you write down your story submit it there and that is followed after that by a discussion in which all the three that is the psychologist the gto and the interviewing officer that is the president of the vice president all three factions sit together and during that you first present your story what you have written and then there is a discussion that follows kindly firstly that also gives out your positivity secondly it shows your expression how you have logically presented your story and thirdly your ability to take part in the discussion and fourthly you should not be changing during the discussion your whatever you have written stick to what you feel is right and follow that do not change your opinion as the things progress so all three feel that this candidate is okay or even if he is doubtful even if one or two says that he is a borderline case is doubtful they let him go into the stage 2 but all those who are absolutely gone case and the all the three examiners feel that no this person is uh, not going to make the grade he is not the one material which we are looking for and definitely they are dropped now we'll talk about the stage 2 in the stage 2 the first day is the psychology tests these are basically civilian psychologists who take out various tests 
as i told you they want to make a image of you a psychological image of you how positive you are how helpful you are uh, what are your value systems what are your thought process uh, in helping others your human nature and these things come out through various types of tests they take a thematic appreciation test in which they show you some pictures give you some time and then few time to write a story about it they'll show you a word give you a few seconds and make a sentence out of it now all these you use to add a green card to your mosaic to your image and not let it go waste like i'll just give you example let us say he is shown a word impossible you write nothing is impossible it's a uh, very uh, common phrase and therefore it does not reflect anything about your personality so you will get a white card but if we use this impossible word in a positive manner to say it is impossible for me to tell a lie it adds a quality that this person does not want to tell a lie or you say it is impossible for me to argue with my father or argue with my teacher that shows that this person uh, is respectful towards his seniors teachers his uh, parents and therefore it gives a green stroke to your personality then on day 3 and 4 are the gto tests which are held and during this time you may be called for interview with the uh, vice president of the president of the ssb service selection board now during this day 3 there are group discussions in which uh, two topics will be given you must speak boys and girls if you don't speak how will he come to know the vast knowledge that you have how will you know that you can express yourself very well you may be shy but leave aside your shyness unless you market your talent you will not be able to go through then there is a group planning exercise in which you are divided into various groups you make a plan you are given a situation you make a plan and then one person out of the group is nominated to present it there are certain other tests also in which a common team work is projected now you must remember one thing that you have come for selection not the team though you should be good member of the team you should be helpful member of the team you should be a good follower but you must stand out in the team if in a team of 10 people they say one person to come and please present the plan you are feeling shy and you say no no you go and present you should say i will present that is the leadership quality that is they are looking for and therefore you must make a mark over the gto that you are a born leader all these tasks are carried out even in the physical fitness part uh, where there are certain obstacles and you have to go through the uh, test they are basically looking at your planning not physical fitness you know if you are medically fit and uh, average individual they will make you physically fit during the training the training is very rigorous but what they are looking is that you have a plan you have a logic in appearing into these obstacle course you want to do the one which you are very confident first or you are not wasting time between running from one obstacle to another and you are going in a flow where you in that given time you can cover the maximum obstacles so please keep that in mind that you are the one who is being selected stand out as a subordinate stand out as a leader and stand out as a commander in various gto tasks which are performed on the day 2 and 3 then comes the interview now these interview are you know by very very senior people they have vast experience in the field so firstly let me tell you do not bluff do not fake because you will be caught so honesty is a big virtue and therefore be original if you do not know a thing everybody does not know everything but you admit that i do not know yes i know the basics about it but i do not know the details about this particular thing fine it is acceptable you know when i went for my ssb they asked me that which newspaper do you read i said sir i come from a village uh, there's no english newspaper in those times used to come to my village there's a hindi newspaper that comes by afternoon and sometimes i glance through it and that is my only exposure to the newspaper they accepted from the circumstances that i was coming that was the best that i could do similarly for the sports i said we uh, form a small club we contribute 1 rupee each buy a ball play some time cricket play volleyball and that is my contribution to the sports because i go early in the morning come back late in the evening i can't even make use of the school facilities for sports they accepted and that's why i am here today 
सो बी ओरिजिनल बी ऑनेस्ट शो योर नॉलेज गिव आउट लॉजिकल रैशनल थिंकिंग एंड डिसीजन मेकिंग यू शुड हैव कन्विक्शन यू शुड हैव कॉन्फिडेंस इन योर प्लान विच यूर मेड एंड देन आफ्टर द इंटरव्यू इन विच सम लॉजिकल क्वेश्चन विल बी आस सम प्लानिंग विल बी आस्ट एंड एक एवरेज इंटेलिजेंट पर्सन who is very honest modest and who's got the correct virtues will be able to get through on the final day is the conference where is there will be a closing address and the results will be discussed and then announced in this every candidate will be come in front of the conference where everybody all the examiners will be sitting firstly be formally dressed look smart be positive and when they ask you certain things uh, don't beg that i badly want to be selected if you have the qualities you will be selected have confidence in yourself but if you are not prepare well come again no amount of begging will get you through so if they ask you if you don't get selected what will you do you don't say sir my world will come to an end i will commit suicide if i am not selected no sir i have other options i will appear for ias exam and get through and become a ias i may not be fit for the defense forces because the requirements are different i may be fit for ips i may be fit for ias i will join for a services have confidence in yourself you will be through if you are not through have your alternative plans sorry there are no marks for the final conference there is no judgment there is no clearance done at that time it is only the compilation of the results and when a candidate marches in all three produce their results the gto the psychologist and the interviewing officer to the president and if all three have passed him no questions asked if one of them has failed him and two have passed him there is some discussion however all three have to say yes for a candidate to get selected some of the persons who go through interview ssb interview many many times and still do not pass they say i don't know what they check मैं तो इतनी बार गया एंड आई कुड नॉट पास थ्रू देर इज समथिंग रॉन्ग इन द सिलेक्शन सिस्टम नो वॉट हैपन्स इज साइकोलॉजिकली यू मे नॉट बी सूटेड फॉर द डिफेंस फोर्सेज यूर साइकोलॉजी डज नॉट चेंज सो इफ यू फेल इन द साइकोलॉजी टेस्ट इन द फर्स्ट अटैम्प्ट यू डू नॉट नो दैट यू फेल्ड इन साइकोलॉजी टेस्ट बट द सेम थिंग गेट्स रिपीटेड अगेन एंड अगेन सेम ट्रेड सेम योर निगेटिविटी और सेम योर मेंटेलिटी इज रिफ्लेक्टेड इन टू द टेस्ट अगेन एंड अगेन एंड देयर फोर यू आर नॉट एबल टू पास लेट मी ऑल्सो कवर सर्टन मिथ्स एंड रॉन्ग परसेप्शन अबाउट द एस एस बी विच मोस्ट ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स और द पब्लिक इन जनरल हैव आउटसाइड द डिफेंस फोर्सेज some feel a very good english is required boys and girls various candidates in a batch come from all over the country they come from north east they come from south they come from the north so therefore everybody starts speaking in regional language it will not be possible for them to understand even if some uh, everybody starts speaking in hindi there may be say 20 to 30% candidates who are not very good in hindi and they may not be able to converse or they may not be able to understand you therefore as a leader to convince others to put across your point correctly you should converse in a language which is understood by everybody and therefore a basic common working english is requirement you have passed the upsc exam with basic english knowledge that is good enough or you can practice a little get the hesitation over of speaking uh hesitation in speaking in english that is good enough however i have seen candidates wherever they got stuck and they uh, tried to switch over to hindi and spoke in hindi and they still passed so english is not a criteria for them your logical thinking your knowledge and your expression your delivery is the most important thing language is only a medium to convey your thoughts and convey to the maximum of the audience in the best possible manner english is certainly not a handicap also some feel that the pilot aptitude test is very technical let me tell you i have passed it in the first attempt my son is a pilot my brother is a pilot they all passed in first attempt without any preparation it is the aptitude if you have the aptitude for a skill certainly you will get through then another myth is that very high standard of physical fitness is required i can tell you a basic average physically fit person goes through it and there is absolutely no problem in passing the basic basic tests 
because when you go for training it will be very very tough and you will be put through much more higher standards of physical fitness and during that training they will make a man out of the boy they will make you fit even if you are not fit so don't worry about that they are not looking for very high standards but yes the average standard of physical fitness one should be able to be okay then also some people say with the officers uh, are spying over you and they come and uh, come as cadets they come as safai wala they'll come as waiter in the mess and see your behavior sorry nothing like that happens but they come to know the behavior of the candidates by their conduct during those four days so you should display officer like qualities and be a gentleman in your behavior don't be rowdy in your behavior because such behaviors are then reported and it may add a negative vibe to your personality so be a disciplined soldier you are going to join a disciplined force if you go for the ssb you go out to the town at night you get drunk and come what are you conveying how do you expect you to be made a officer also some of you feel that the bribe or approach works as i covered in the previous series also boys and girls there's no amount of bribe or approach or selection works because there are very very independent checks I have to take a fixed quota there's no fixed quota they only fixed standards that anybody who meets this standard will be selected they may be out of 198 get selected in one batch they may not be even one who get selected out of the next batch of hundreds so ultimately all these selected people are given marks and they all add up at delhi not knowing say out of 5000 people who were passed in the written examination out of these 5000 there may be 1000 or there may be 300 only who have passed the ssb and their marks have come they do not know where they stand in this so these marks are then sent to the upsc and a common merit list comes out so it's very difficult for anybody to apply bribe or approach and to find out where he stands till the time the final merit list comes out also often it is found that the there is some preference for the defense personnel sorry ladies and gentlemen i had said it earlier also there is no reservation in the defense forces for anybody even for the wards of the defense people yes the children of the defense people by the virtue of staying in that environment are able to perform better because that is the environment they have seen they know much more about the defense forces than probably a boy coming from the village but that does not mean that the person from the village will not get selected i was the first person to become officer from my village you should have the go in you the aptitude you should have the qualities in you and definitely you will get selected now in the end i would like to only say that go with lots of preparation and with least of expectations prepare well and when you go to the ssb there is a saying lead follow or get out of the way if i translate it you should show your leadership qualities whenever you are made a leader in command task or in a group be the first to lead be a good team man when you are called as a subordinate be a good teammate contribute to the victory of the team contribute stand out in the effort of the team which the examiner should be able to uh, notice that yes you are a contributor to the team you are a team man go with the positivity in mind and i am sure you will be winner good luck and thank you very much i come to the conclusion of the defense forces series and certainly let me emphasize this is a career beyond excellence go for it make an attempt and i am sure you will get through if you face any difficulty you want any specific information you are free to call me anytime through live shiksha thank you very much jai hind